New details in an iTeam exclusive. What we've learned about a federal investigation into the cyber attack at Johns Hopkins Health System back in May. Good evening, I'm Deborah Wiener. That data breach affected at least 5,500 people within the health system. iTeam reporter Tali Taylor broke the story today in the WBAL-TV app and he joins us in the studio. And Tali, one expert says two years of free credit monitoring may not be enough. Yeah, that's right. Johns Hopkins sent letters to those who were affected by the data breach, notifying them that they were eligible to sign up for two free years of credit monitoring. But with cyber attacks, one expert says those who were affected may need more protection. In June, Johns Hopkins emailed its community about a cyber attack that impacted systems at Johns Hopkins University and Johns Hopkins Health System. The email said the information of Johns Hopkins employees, students, and or patients may have been affected. And the I-Team has now learned the U.S. Office for Civil Rights, or OCR, is now investigating the breach at Johns Hopkins Health System because, quote, unsecured protected health information was involved. In a July letter to one of the people affected, Johns Hopkins wrote, To assist in protecting you from any potential identity theft, we are providing you with two years of credit monitoring. The I-Team asked a cybersecurity expert about credit monitoring in June. Companies where this happens, they tend to offer maybe a year of credit monitoring, sometimes two. Is that enough? It may be years before you're even aware that you've been compromised, and then years more after that to undo and correct the damage that has been done. So two years may not be enough in some cases. The I-Team asked the same question to the director of the Identity Theft Program at the Maryland Attorney General's office. The answer is I, I'm not sure because some of the problems that could stem from this aren't solved directly by credit monitoring. But he did offer one big piece of advice, freeze your credit. Doing a, a few things now can really prevent a lot of heartaches and headaches down the road. The I-Team has previously reported that a Russian hacker group, Klopp Ransomware Syndicate, appears to be responsible for the cyber attack. Johns Hopkins Health Systems is made up of Johns Hopkins Hospital, Howard County General Hospital, and many other entities. Hopkins officials did not respond to my repeated requests for an interview, and they haven't even responded to my repeated calls and emails with any kind of statement. As a result, we still have a lot of unanswered questions about this, which we're continuing to investigate. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Tolly Taylor.